Okay. Da, da, da. Chew that, please. This girl, her mission in life is to take off all socks and shoes. Da. Da. Good morning. You having your breakfast? What do you got? Oh, pancakes and sweet potato. Say more. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I almost cried yesterday. She officially knows how to do more in sign language. Mm -hmm. More. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. So cute. Good morning. It's the weekend. It's Saturday morning and we're just getting up and ready for the day. Well, I've been up for a little bit, but I just finished my meditation while Matt's been feeding breakfast to Sage, drinking my herbal coffee, and we're gonna go for a nice morning family walk to start the day. And then I think I was gonna like bring Sage with me to the farmer's market, but I think it might be her nap time because normally we already leave by now to go for our walk. So I don't wanna bring a cranky baby to the <laughs> to the farmer's market. So I might go by myself, but when we get back, I think I'm gonna show my, an updated uh, morning skincare routine just because I've been getting a lot of questions about what I use to make my skin so glowy. That's sarcasm. But honestly, my skin, it's by no means perfect at all, but like it has been so much better since like when I used to use different products. I feel like I just really like my routine that I've been doing. And if you've been following for a long time, it's probably no surprise what I'm gonna show you. A little bit has changed, but not much. I'm gonna share that when we get back so you guys can uh, just get an updated skincare routine uh, from me and like the products that I love. Not sponsored in any way, just, and if, even if it was, that means I love it. So no shame on sponsorships, um, we love them. Also, I can't get over Sage doing sign language. Like she's getting this now and this, and it makes me such a proud mom. Like these are things that I've been trying to instill in her, into her since like she was six months and starting to eat. And like all the books I've read are like, just keep doing it and add around like a year to 14 months. Like they'll just start picking it up. This girl's 10 months and she's like, mm -mm. Anyways, it's the cutest thing ever. So if you are in the same boat and you're like, is this worth it? Like, are they ever gonna get it? She's doing it and it's the cutest freaking thing ever. And what I like is it's not just about food the more, it's like if she's playing or whatever, like it's just a way to communicate if she wants more of something or to do something again, you know, or if she's just like, say she's on the swings and she's all done, she can wave her hands and like, we know instead of her just like freaking out, you know, which I'm sure will still happen. But it's just like a cool way to communicate with your baby before they can actually talk, which I think is so awesome. So anyways, very excited that she's finally kind of getting it. I'm officially going now and uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, Seiji is dressed, although her outfit is a little bit big. Let's show them. It looks like like a wizard outfit with clouds. The sleeves are a little big. Say hi, look at your sleeves. We gotta put socks. We have no socks yet. I do have a matching cloud sweater, kind of like, it's not by this, this is Baby Gap. I'll, I'll link it below if it's still available, but it's such a cute outfit. Let me put my uh, cloud sweater on because I want to match Sage. I just want to be as cute as Sage. <laughs> I'll update mine's drawing, so I'll have to put it on after. <laughs> Everything's more now. Yeah. Hey, girl. Mm. Keep those sockies. No. <laughs> This girl, her mission in life is to take off all socks and shoes. Da. Da. No. Leave it. No, no, no. Look at this. Look at your pair. There you go. Okay, let's go. Hi, honey. Oh. Girl took off both suckies. Excuse me. Excuse me. Your toesies. 
we're gonna get cold. <laughs> Say hi. All right, so Matt is just getting Sage down for her nap. I am going to do a quick farmer's market visit. I got my bags here and I'm going to see what they have. Definitely getting some chocolate chip cookies. I'm getting a pie because we are going to Matt's mom's tomorrow. Um, so we'll bring a pie and then I'll see what else they have. Definitely some veggies, some fruit. Um, fingers crossed they have some more peaches because... They, I bought peaches from the market, like the grocery store the other day, and they were not the same. Even though they're both Ontario peaches, I don't understand like why one's better than the other, but it just is. I'm gonna see what they have there. And then I think Matt is gonna go to the gym. All right, to the market. Oh. Seiji is eating some garden tomatoes and avocado, and I'm just cooking her up some spinach eggs. What do you got in there? You got some more in there? I'm making a little bit of a mess here. I really like these small cutting boards because I feel like I can use them for Sage's food. I've talked about this before. This is one of those crinkle cutters. It's awesome. I use it a lot for the avocado so it's easier to hold. And this was actually a farm fresh egg. I shared on Instagram yesterday that I picked some up. And I'm just going to scramble it up. I got some ghee heating up in the pan. So I'm going to scramble that with the baby spinach for some healthy greens and iron. Look how yellow that yolk is. Do you want more eggs? Okay. Chew that, please. Whoa. You want more? Yes. Okay. So you usually just take is yeah I'll take some of the pieces that are cooled and I just sprinkle them on and then Sage picks them up okay. say yum 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 look at the color of those yolks it looks like I added turmeric laundry day <laughs> everything is like washed and dried I just don't have time to fold it so I'm just like laying it flat in my bed so it doesn't get uh, wrinkly and this is why it takes me forever to do laundry you just lay it all out and, it really came as no surprise. and then the magical fairy comes and folds it <clears throat> Matt <laughs> just kidding I'm I will fold this when we get back I just have some toast and I'm gonna smash on my avocado. And I have some eggs cooking up that I'm gonna have on top. This is just like a really nice weekend quick breakfast. One egg, two egg. That yolk broke a little bit. And then I just have some flaked sea salt, some chili flakes. And I meant to add the lemon to the avocado, but I'll just put a little bit on top. It's fine. And I also have some white truffle oil that's almost done, but a little goes a long way. So I'll just finish the bottle. And there is breakfast. That is what I'm having for breakfast. All right, so I didn't get a chance to film this yesterday, but I wanna show you guys my morning skincare routine, and I'm actually filming an IG reel at the same time, so I'm gonna be kind of looking back and forth. But I just wanna go over quickly my skincare routine. If you want all the products and everything, uh, definitely check out the blog post down below in the info box. 
So I have my rose water toner, which I use every single day and love. This is a vitamin C with hyaluronic acid. I love it and it just kind of sits really nicely under your moisturizer and makeup. Just melts right into the skin. I love using just some kind of vitamin C every single day. And sometimes I just kind of pat it in. Then I have eye cream. I've always been someone that loves using eye cream and honestly, I feel like it's really helped reduce dark circles. I feel like I used to have darker circles growing up because I have olive toned skin, I'm Portuguese, and I feel like you just get more of the greeny blues and stuff in your blood underneath your eye. And I feel like since using eye cream, it's really helped to brighten and moisturize that under eye area. So I use it religiously every single morning and night. This is a new bottle. You do, oh, there we go. This is like a gel. And you use the pinky, not the pinky, the ring finger. You just pat it under, and I love this one. It just melts right in. I also like doing it kind of in the middle and above my eyebrows and kind of just all over. And I just go very gentle, pat around, and I also just kind of go into like areas that lines tend to form. And it just melts right in. I love it. It's not sticky. It just helps hydrate that delicate eye area. Next, I like to do a serum. I don't do this every single day, but I've been really into it lately just to help hydrate my skin from the summer. And also in the winter time, your skin is obviously a little bit drier from the cold and the weather. I think it's always good to kind of do some kind of serum. I did the vitamin C and this is just another added layer. And I feel like just as I get older, I'm just like really enjoying layering. Obviously simple is great too. And you know, I don't even wash my face in the morning. I just splash with water and do the rose water toner. But I do think it's really nice to add in and lock in a lot of moisture and things that are gonna give your skin some kind of beneficial properties. Like this one is a bioactive peptide facial serum. So I feel like the peptides just help bring your skin to life. This one says the serum will quickly penetrate the deepest your deepest skin to enhance the production of moisture binding, glowy, uh, enhancing collagen. So I'm all about that, that collagen in the glow. So um, this new bottle too. I just got a restock. And I love that these are all very light and not heavy whatsoever. And also go up the neck. The decollete, whatever it's called. At night is when I like to do like my oil serums and stuff. So if you guys want me to do a nighttime skincare routine, leave me a comment down below. All right, last final layer before the sunscreen. Uh, we have the Tamarind Seed Facial Moisturizer. My battery is gonna die. This one is one of the few I like to use. I use a couple different ones. This one's really nice. It has floral antioxidants, orange blossom water, jojoba, rosehip, red raspberry seed, uh, tamarind seed and red radish root and all these amazing things honestly like luminance just I feel like knows what to do when it comes to skincare and it's probably why I've been using them for like I don't know seven plus years it's been a while these are all new bottles I was using their hydration uh, moisturizer before which is also really awesome um, but this one's my favorite it's just a little bit more expensive so if either one will be amazing and just slather that on it's like icing a cake all the layers <laughs> So many people focus on makeup and covering things up, but I really try to focus on the foundation and using, you know, products that really help support your skin, make it shine, make it glow, instead of having to cover everything up all the time, which I think just like leads to more breakouts, at least for me. My skin was its worst when I wasn't focusing on natural skincare. So skin first, then makeup if you so choose. Okay, then really quickly before this dies, I like to use sunscreen, of course. This is the one I've been using all summer. It's the Kula Mineral Sunscreen Unscented Matte Tint. It's awesome. It has like a moussey texture to it, super mattifying, and it's a great primer under makeup. Okay, I had to <laughs> grab a new battery, but I applied the sunscreen all over my face, and then I have my lip butter from beauty net skincare super moisturizing it's one of our best sellers love it and then i'm just gonna pop on some deodorant that's what it looks like inside super buttery and you just rub it and apply and this is what i use every single day it's non-toxic it's really easy to apply 
and it's not sticky or greasy or anything you just rub it into your hands after and it just kind of melts away and i am ready for the day it's a new day but i wanted to just quickly hop on here and film that for you guys if you guys want to check out the ig reel that i did make sure you follow me on instagram at health net nutrition and uh, yeah let me know if you want me to do a nighttime skincare routine as well all right back to the vlog you got your daddy yeah okay we're at the mall Matt's favorite place. Vaughn <laughs> Mills. There she is. Babies R Us, and I've heard of this clothing line they now have. It's called Little Earthling, and I'm pretty sure it's all or yeah, organic cotton. How freaking cute! I don't know if that's a peach, but it's so cute. Oh my gosh, I feel like I need to get something for Sage. <laughs> They're honestly so adorable. What do you think? You just wait, you'll enjoy shopping when you're bigger. Little hearts, and they're so soft. I like this one too. Squeeze the day. Okay, I'm gonna take a look. I'll let you know if I see anything I buy. All right, I found some stuff. <laughs> this girl is addicted to my mom's. My mom sponsor Sage. Bass Pro Shop? Big Bass Pro. The most Canadian store you've ever seen. It's American. Oh, it's American. <laughs> <laughs> so we're currently looking at boats. Just casually, eh? Looking at some boats. Yes, casually. We need some, uh, need some fun in life. Some boating. In this off-roading Jeep. <laughs> Oh yeah. Look at these. Comment down below if you have a boat. Any tips for boat buying? All right, we got a little summer, end of summer. <laughs> Are you Instagramming? Taking a picture of it. You're funny. Okay, I got Perlins and Cream Kortha Dairy ice cream. You know, sometimes you just gotta Pretty good. Like, look at the size of this cup. Oh, I know. Whoa. I like good value for my money. I always get usually cookie dough or mint chocolate chip, so this is very weird for me to get pralines and cream. But it is really good. <laughs> mm. I like ice cream that you can chew. It's got like good chips in it. But do you know what I mean? Like the texture of the ice cream is like, you can chew it almost. Like it's not too soft. I like harder ice cream, but still really creamy. Hey, CG. I'm going to go to the Hey. Yeah, my girl. Want to play with some Lego? Yeah. So I ordered this Lego set off Amazon. I'll link it below. It's awesome. It's like 17 bucks. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, she wants to play too. Okay. We're going to build. I just love this Lego set. How it's like turquoise and pink and purple and green. Like just different colors than I've seen before. Matt's gonna feed Cashew dinner. Shadow's on. Dinner bell. <laughs> wow, cat or cashew sage. What are we gonna build? What does it say on here? Blocky talkie. Sage. 
Yeah. Roger. Yeah. Roger. And then Matt, I built a dog. There you have it, folks. Built a doggy. A Lego cashew. Woof, woof. Yeah. Woof, 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 woof. Woof, look, it wakes its tail too. Wait, wait. Oh. <gasps> you decapitated it. All right, I'm going to give you a little haul of the clothes I got from Babies R Us. Cashew one out. Hang on, let me cash you out. All right. Baby clothing haul. Uh, cashew. Oh my God, I always mix up their names. Seiji, come here, please. Okay, so I got some really cute pieces. So affordable. Like, I was shocked by how cute everything was. It feels really good, great quality, and the prices were really good. So, I got two of these little sets. I think these are shorts. Most of the stuff I got nine to 12 in because she's still in like three to six clothes. She's starting to fit into six to 12 stuff now, but it's okay if it's a little bit big cause she's like going through a growth spurt right now. So she will fit in it soon enough or it'll just be a little loose. Okay, so I got, yeah, this pink one and the purple one. They're just like little play suits. I like these just for like every day at home, uh, which is great. And these were, 12 bucks each. And I even love how the hangers are just, um, they're made out of 85% post-consumer recycled content. So like, and it's organic material. So very sustainably conscious forward. And then I got this little jumper set, like romper guy. I don't know if you can see. Really cute, like floral pattern. And I figured she can still wear this throughout the fall and winter with just a long sleeve underneath. Like even the white long sleeve she has on now would be really nice under this. And then she could have little booties on or something and still be warm, like layered with a jacket. We'll see if that actually works out, but that's what I had in mind. And then this just felt all their little like t-shirts and stuff and tanks were so soft. I loved the colors and prints. Uh, this one just with some hearts and this one was how much? 19 so this one was a little bit more and this one was ten dollars like the little t-shirts and then i also got these were six dollars these little pink leggings which i feel like the waist is skinnier a lot of pants like sage just doesn't fit into them because she's so narrow she's very long but very small around the waist so i'm hoping these fit because she's kind of low on pants and then lastly i got the sweetest little booties Look at these booties, little lemons. And they're really, really soft. The bottoms are, they feel like suede, but I don't know, they're probably not actual suede. And these were $16. And I find shoes can be quite expensive and a lot of ones don't fit her. So we, I got the six to 12 and these are great. Do you mind letting Cashew in, Matt? So I got all these pieces with tax for 118, which I thought was really great because a lot of times like where I buy Sage's clothes, it's more expensive for like the styles I like and whatnot. And I felt like everything was really cute, well-made, and it was a pretty good price. Um, I know you can get like cheaper ba baby clothes, but like I still thought this was pretty affordable. Yeah, they just had so many nice prints. And I honestly just wanted to get like casual stuff that she could just wear around the house every day. It wasn't too like fancy because you know, we have dresses in the closet and she just doesn't really wear them. Also, I'll show you guys what I got from Sephora. Oh wait, I also got this from uh, Toys R Us. Matt, I didn't tell you, I got a little toothbrush, little baby toothbrush. And then from Sephora, why don't you give me samples? Huh. Age delay eye concentrate, what's that supposed to mean? What are you trying to say Sephora? So I got a few things, I actually spent quite a bit at Sephora just because I never really buy makeup. I have like the same makeup I've used forever and I just kind of repeat the same products and I just want to get a couple things and make me feel nice when I'm doing my makeup since I always do my own makeup even if I have somewhere to go I usually do my own sorry if it's loud with sage okay so anyways I got a foundation which I haven't used in a long time I usually just use the Andalou CC cream so this one here is the true skin serum foundation it has like hyaluronic acid in it I think aloe has a bunch of stuff in it so I'm trying to like parent and haul at the same time. 
that's what it looks like and it's like medium to light coverage so the nice thing about sephora is you can go home and try it if you don't love it you can return it because this stuff was not cheap and the way i justify it is i really never buy myself makeup so when i do i prefer to get stuff that's like good quality and like better ingredients and stuff which it just ends up costing you know even the stuff that's bad for your skin costs a lot of money too I, I'm not like out of my mascara yet, but this one looked really cool. It's from Ilia, which is what my current mascara is from. Look at how chubby this, actually, I don't even know if you'll be able to tell. This is huge. And look at the brush. Whoa, I'm gonna be a beauty blogger. Ooh, it is such a thick brush. This one's called Fullest Volumizing Mascara. Volume Thickness Drama. So I was sold, the brush looked awesome, and I'm not into like false eyelashes and like the extensions, it's just too much of an upkeep for me and I feel like it would damage my eyelashes. So this just seemed like I can get a lot of volume. So I'm like working with what I got. Technically I got a second foundation, but this one was, what's this one called? Perfect, perfecting complexion stick. I feel like I had one of these in high school except this is like the more more expensive and more mature one, I guess. I like swatched this at the store, like Sephora, and like, wow, the coverage was so nice. It dried matte, it wasn't drying, and it's called, it's by the brand Merit. Never heard of it before. Okay, this is what it looks like. Oh. Okay, that's what it looks like, and so shiny. And it kind of rolls up like a lipstick, but oh, the packaging, this is like what you pay for the packaging anyways this i feel like because the foundation is lightweight i would then put this where i need a little bit more coverage and then i also got uh the ilia concealer stick true skin uh, serum concealer i'll link all these products down below for you guys i already have this one in the suma color this one is the uh, chicory color it's a little bit lighter because i want it for under my eyes and i feel like the other one was too much like for my face not like brightening so this is what this one looks like. So I got that one and this last product. I've tried two brands I've never tried before. The Merit and then this one, which when I first look at it, it reminds me of the word Sage, like Sage's name, but it's Sai, Say. I don't know, but when I first look at it, I'm like, oh, it says Sage. This one is the Dew Blush Liquid Cheek Flush. And I also swatched this at the store. It was so pretty. This is the color peachy. It's beautiful. It was wet. Oh, sorry. I like get nervous that the gate is not closed. It's wet, but like then just like blends in really nice when I tried it on my hand and it had like, it dried matte, which I liked. Also packaging, beautiful. Okay, this is what it looks like. You ready for this? Oh, that didn't make a noise. Oh, it has one of those like, like dough applicators. So pretty. Oh, you know what? Let me swatch it for you. Cause this is, it's like paint going on. Don't look at my nails. They're so bad. Like it is pigmented. It looks like paint. I have like zero makeup on right now. Wait, do I have, I put mascara on. That is all I put. Anyways, when you blend it, like so creamy. And I feel like sometimes when I put blush on, I put it on and I feel like you can't even see it. I feel like this is gonna go a long way. So that's what I got from Sephora and you don't even wanna know what the bill was because it was crazy. But if I don't love everything, I am gonna return it. But I think I'm gonna love it. I think I am. Early birthday gift to me. Like I said, I never buy makeup and when I do, I feel like it just, I restock or I try a couple new things and it ends up just costing a lot because things are so expensive nowadays. Okay, I'm gonna wash this off and not get it on my whites or my, my cloud sweater. Sage isn't wearing her matching outfit anymore. Okay, can you watch it for a sec? It's like the TikTok I made. Um, I'll be right back, can you, watch, can you watch it for a sec? I totally forgot. I forgot a piece that I got. This sweater. Okay, like this sweater was part of the 118 for everything. This one I also got nine to 12 and it was how much? I didn't actually check the price of this. 24, this one's a little bit more. I love 
the little hoodie. This is just gonna be like a nice kind of light jacket for when, even our morning walks when it's still kind of cool but not like cold enough for a full jacket. But like I said, I'm gonna have my skincare routine blog post uh, linked down below in the info box if you guys wanna check it out. And um, I think that's gonna be it for today's vlog. We are just gonna have a chill night, feed Sage some dinner, probably just uh, watch a little TV and relax. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give this vlog a thumbs up if you liked it, if you like these casual family vlogs. I've been really enjoying them. It's just nice to connect with you guys. Like honestly, I almost didn't finish today's vlog because I was kind of feeling down this morning. And I mean, that's just life. Sometimes like I start vlogging, I was like, is she going for the dog bowl? Sometimes I start vlogging and I'm like in a good mood, good to vlog. And then I don't know, especially nowadays, I feel like my mood is like up and down all the time. And it's just, just crazy. I kind of snapped out of it and I was like, you know what? I'll just kind of continue the vlog on my phone and stuff and just see how I feel. And you know, end up having a good day. And Matt is the sweetest. He was like going to the gym and he's like, oh, like we can like, do you want to go to, go for a walk in the park like do you want to go to the mall like if Matt says do you want to go to the mall he's really trying to cheer me up because although he was really happy to go look at some boats <laughs> I think that made he was like that's the that was worth the trip so yeah it was just nice to get out of the house and go somewhere we haven't been for a bit that is gonna be it and I just appreciate all of your support and love all the time and see if you want to say bye and letting me share sage with you guys means the world just because <laughs> You know, I don't get to, uh, I don't get to see many other babies or share sage. And even just being able to share sage with you guys and get that mom side of me, you know, out when I feel like I can't in real life is really nice. Mommy got makeup. You don't need any. Do you think this is going to look nice on mom? What do you think? Do you like, this one looks like it says your name. Yeah, shake, 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 shake. You won't need makeup for a long, 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 long time. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next vlog or video, and I hope you guys have an amazing day. Sending lots of love. Mwah. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.